But this is a point and click adventure game. It is called Inspector Waffles. You are a detective who is a cat and you're solving murder mysteries. It's very cute. It's a very cute, fun game. Um, so I'm excited to stream it. Now, playing the demo was a blast. So I'm excited to be in here. Uh, speaking of demos, I am a featured streamer for Indie World Order Con. So that is going to happen on Saturday stream and next Tuesdays and Wednesday streams. I am going to be streaming certain demos for us to try out and play around with. I'm really, really excited. We're actually also going to stream on the convention floor itself. It's a virtual convention. So they have a bunch of different islands that you can go visit and virtual booths. And I think it's going to be really, really cool. Um, I've seen a lot of behind the scenes stuff and, and watched it kind of come together. And I am really excited to be a part of something that's kind of like almost the future of these festivals, uh, right? Like when it comes to steam festivals and like summer festivals and things like that. I think making this open to so many more people to go and experience the convention floor and go and talk to people and like interface with devs. I, I am just blown away by the fact that people can put these things together and it it's just really mind-boggling to me that things like this can can come together from what was happening with everything going on. Um, but I think my favorite thing to talk about is the fact that I finally got my vaccine appointment. So I am getting vaccinated on the 8th of April and I am beyond excited um, because it has been really hard to find a vaccine appointment here in North Carolina down by our side. It has been virtually impossible. The four, the eighth is actually the first time that I'm, uh, the first appointment that they had available. And I am just like, please shoot me. I just need a vaccine. Thank you. So <laughs> I'm excited. Um, so that's been, the, that's kind of the next couple of, couple of streams, couple of weeks. Um, there's a visual novel that I believe I'm going to be streaming as well that I'm very excited about that will be happening after uh, Indie World Oricon that I'm super stoked for. I just have to get the uh, the key for it. And it's, it's really going to be a game that you guys are going to like too. So I'm really, really, really stoked. There's a lot of really fun stuff coming up. I know I just keep saying like I'm really excited, but I am. Like there's just so many things that I want to bring to you guys and, and have you guys experience with me that I think will be really, really fun aren't in the group currently be able to be vaccinated here. I meet the obesity requirement because I have a normal amount of weight. So I said, forget it. There's like tons of appointments available. I don't feel bad. And Desai is actually considered, his job is considered essential. So he's been able to go get vaccinated. So we are happy to be able to go together. We got the appointments together. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. But... But, but without further ado, let's hop into Inspector Waffles. I know I've never been so happy to have gained 40 pounds in three years. <laughs> but I'm going to have to read a lot. So I have my water aside from my beer. So don't worry about me. It's going to be a lot of water happening because there is a lot of reading. So we'll go to options, um, highlighted clues. You meant for the vaccine? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's how I got the vaccine. You're a doofus. <laughs> highlighted cute clues. By default, hints and clues in the dialogue are highlighted yellow. Oh, my, my closed captions. Oh, my goodness. I normally have my, my thing, I already, I usually hit a button on my stream deck, but because my stream deck wasn't working. Okay, great. The closed captions are working. Oh, that made me feel bad. Okay. Hints and clues in the dialogue are highlighted yellow to make interactions and puzzle solving a little more intuitive. If you would like a more challenging experience, you can disable this feature. You guys know what direction we're going in. I don't, I'm not even ashamed. I'm not even ashamed. If you would like a more, <laughs> either way you play, you'll enjoy the same story endings and all the achievements. 
You can change the setting anytime from the menu. Would you like to play with the enhanced text? Yes, I'll enjoy the extra cute clues. Or no, I'll try to crack the case on my own. This is what we're talking about with making games accessible for everybody. That if you love games like this and you love stories, but you're not very good at putting clues together, just like me, this is good. Oh, no worries, Shell, but I appreciate you letting me know. I know the internet's been really pants for us, too. I'm over it. What do I pay 100 bucks a month for? Waffle's having a rough day with his milk. Patches is calling. Figure out puzzles in this economy? I don't think so. Not on this stream. <laughs> I love the art, it's so cute, right? There's waffles everywhere. What are you talking about? And see, there's some waffles. So shove it. Hi, Sebby. How are you? <laughs> I'm a bad person. I just yell at my brother all the time. <laughs> Chapter one. The dead and alive cat. Waffle says, midnight in cat town, and I'm heading to a new crime scene. Why do I still do this job? I could be anywhere right now. Chilling on the beach, sipping a pina colada. But no, I'm out here working day and night for this town. My mother, she wanted me out of this life. The qui a quiet office job with decent working hours. And I should have listened. Mom's always right. An inspector's life is a dangerous one. But if there's one thing I like more than strong milk, it's solving mysteries. We can all have waffles and milk. Let's make brunch. Inspector Waffles, on the scene and looking like a stray cat as usual. My fault, Chief Patches. Afraid I wasn't expecting to be working tonight. Tell me, who's the victim? His name was Fluffy, the boss of box furniture. Oh, I love their boxes. <laughs> Forget it, Waffles, it's cat down. Don't we all, Waffles? So, did he off himself? Well, doubtful. But we can't roll it out at this stage. We've been waiting for you to sniff out the truth. Giving me too much credit there, Chief. Did you see the lady cat at the front gate? No. Why? She's a friend of the victim. Came by earlier to see our dead friend here. She rang his doorbell and no one answered. But someone jumped over the fence and vanished into the dark. Someone? Says she only saw a shadow. But she says whatever it was... It was big. Chunk. It was chunk. Okay, I'll have a look around the house first, and then we can chat with her once we're done here. No problem. As long as you need. But small problem, though. We haven't been able to access the top floor. Can we kick the door down? He's dead. He won't complain. Not until we have clearance from the higher-ups. If you can find a way to get up there without damaging the property, that'd be great. If you can't, don't forget, you have a very valuable resource in your pocket. Valuable resource? Yeah. A brilliant ex-inspector, able to help you at any moment. I'm not asking my mother for help, Patches. Yes, she was great, but I don't need her. I can solve this case all by myself. Well, if you change your mind, just check your notepad. She probably left one of her little notes. I told her not to do that anymore. Mind you, she's never listened to me before either. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside and, and have a look around. <laughs> poor, poor Waffles. A ball of wool? Fluffy knew how to have fun. I'm not gonna play with it, even if I really want to. This dead cat is the reason why I'm here. I like to mouse over everything. Let's see if there's anything in his pockets. Oh, I love that we're gonna go rifle through his pockets. Mom, you're embarrassed.
embarrassing me in front of my police friends. A Polaroid picture. A cat at the beach with a red lighthouse behind him. No idea who the cat is. Maybe it's a clue? Oh, we can't. Okay. A photo of an unknown cat at the beach. Why would Fluffy have this photo in his pocket? A cat searching through trash cans. I'm such a cliche. Nothing special inside except for this broken screwdriver. Oh, waffles, I almost forgot. If you want to see more about an item in your inventory, you can right click on it. I don't know exactly what that means, but I bet it's useful for learning more. But if you're just picking up trash during their investigations, maybe not so much. Wow, calling us out. Nothing wrong with picking up trash. A broken screwdriver I found in a trash can. Patches is right. I'm definitely an alley cat. Alright, let's close that. There's our notebook. Wow. Clues. I know, right? Damn. There's nothing left but fish skeletons. Alright, so nothing there, nothing there. Let's go in the house. Hmm, strange. The bottom floor is a bit small for a house as big as this. Oh well, doesn't really matter for now. Need to focus on getting on the top floor. A bust! This is the first time I've ever seen one outside of a museum. Fancy, fancy! There's a hole in the mouth, but for what? I'm afraid if I get too close, it'll spray poison at me or something. Ooh. It's not working. Okay, well, we tried. Where are we going? Let's go upstairs. I was like, maybe the broken screwdriver fits in it. I don't know. I'm not a detectiveologist. Where'd my slippers go? I don't know. We got a plant, photos. Black and white photos of Cat Town from almost a century ago. They were starting to build skyscrapers. The city was booming at this time. I wonder if these cats would have enjoyed living here today. Can I stick my tail in it? I don't know if that's what I want to do, Looney. We can't just go sticking our tail all willy-nilly into random holes. <laughs> oh my god, the things that I'm saying. I don't know where this bridge is located, but it seems to be a great place to live. Do do. Drat, and also, hello, hi, Looney. An old vase. It looks very fragile. I kind of want to break it. I mean, I won't. But my animal instincts are kicking in pretty strong right now. Cat moods. This is a sculpture from a long time ago. Probably 9th century. Southern doggo, if I'm not mistaken. Just call me Lara Crufts. Instructions unclear. Got tail stuck in the ceiling fan. <laughs> eh, just kidding. I know nothing about archaeology. Ooh. It's this door. Oops. Clicked out of the screen. My bad. Hello, bathrooms. I have no idea how to use this object. It's a hairbrush. He has no idea how to use the object. It's a hairbrush. Oh. Shall I hope your internet's dead? Le Petit Chaton Parisian, I think. A Lady's Fragrance by Yves Chatelorraine. <laughs> so cliche. I'm sorry, Shell. Please, please don't fly down here to punch me. I'm going to bring you ZD at some point. <laughs> Why would Fluffy have female perfume? Someone else must have left it here. Perhaps it belongs to Fluffy's lover? I feel like Shell is just dying on the inside right now. I'm not gonna check for clues in a litter box. Listen, you know, I have to clean my cat's litter box. What's the problem here? I don't hate myself enough for that. Ooh, why is that tile all funny? There's a little hole in this tile. There's something on the other side. Maybe if I give it a pull? Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. A hideout. Ooh. Why is there a book in here? Maps of... Kadakstan, 18th century. Who's interested in books like this? Uh, an intellectual, obviously. Anyone who enjoys history or geography would love this. Personally, I prefer comics. Of course. Uh, anything else in the bathroom? Anything exciting? Litter box there. The hole. 
hairbrush, perfume. All right, let's go back out into the hall. Nice bedroom. Being rich definitely has its perks. It's a famous painting from Marguerite. Wait, there's something odd about this frame. <gasps> a hideout. It looks cool. Only a book here. Nothing of much value. It's The Great Catsby. I've never read it. I probably never will, but it was hidden, so I guess I should take it. I like this new perspective. I like that we're just moving through shit. Oh, Fluffy was a semi-pro wool ball player in his youth. Wow, that explains the wool ball outside. Interesting. There's a letter inside of the cup. A book has value waffles, damn. <laughs> it's true. My tiger, I can't wait until the next time I hear you roar. Tenderly? And, whoo, a saucy letter. Seems Fluffy had a cat lady in his life. Should find out who she is. Luckily, this isn't Silent Hill and you don't have to go elbow deep in a backed up toilet for a wallet. It's true. Who's stereo? I don't know any of these bands. Maybe I need to get in my office from time to time. Back in the day, Fluffy was quite an elegant cat. He was rich, classy, smart, but despite all that, alone. Actually, there aren't any pictures of his family or friends in this entire house. Maybe Fluffy wanted to forget something about his relatives? Anything fun here? Skateboard! This is a very old skateboard. Looks like it was discarded heel. Here, one wheel seems to be broken. I'm gonna take it. I can find some use for it later. Full disclosure, I played the demo, so I do know how to get through this part, but uh, you guys can only imagine once we get to a part that I haven't played. A broken skateboard wheel. I like to collect useless things. One cat's trash is another cat's treasure. Yeah, I can't read the letter. A love letter I found in Fluffy's bedroom. My tiger, I can't wait until the next time I hear you roar. Tenderly? Um, I wouldn't have pegged Fluffy as a lady's cat. I guess you can't always trust appearances. I can't open this door. The handle is missing. Like I said, I've already done this. It's the only reason I know how to do this quickly. Maybe I can create a door handle using this wheel and this screwdriver. Let me try. Here, let me take the broken wheel. <laughs> It's totally a point and click thing. This is totally normal. We can totally do this. Everybody does this. <laughs> we love it here. Oh, it fits perfectly. Perfectly. I made a door handle. Now to see what's behind this door. MacGyver cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I totally, totally nailed it. Every rich guy has his own library. There's an octopus in the water. Let me grab it for some future puzzle. <laughs> it's so true. And it doesn't contain even a single comic book. Obviously not a man of taste. Books. Classic and popular books written by cats. One of the books is missing. Just so happens we have a blue book. I wonder what happens if I put this book back in its rightful place. I heard a little click, but nothing else has happened. Dog slang. Dog accents across the world. It's all about dogs here. Da -da, da -da. These books are about evolution. When we learned we walk on two when we learned to walk on two paws a long time ago. <laughs> books. Old brown books. Oh wow, it's a world map collection. I've never left Cat Town. There's an empty space between two books in this collection. A a secret door. I wish I could afford to have one put in at my place. But why hide access to an entire floor of your home? This case is going to be really interesting. Oh, secret rooms. <gasps> a secret office. What was he hiding in here? Nocturne Opus 9, number 2, Kloppen. One of my favorites. Too bad I don't know how to play the piano. Let's see. Let's mouse over some stuff. Oh, that goes back to the bathroom. Wow. So this is how Fluffy usually got to his office. 
Probably how the killer escaped, too. I have to tell Patches about this. But there's so many puns. So many puns. It's so perfect. Grass. Well, cats need this for comfort. Oh, blood. Most of us want to stay clean and healthy. I, on the other hand, just want a glass of strong milk. Oh, a lucky break. There's a hair sticking out of one of the blades of grass. Well, well, well. This hair doesn't belong to Fluffy. Looks like a dog's hair, but I can't be certain. Computer! No disk found. Everything was recently erased. You watched my YouTube demo? Oh, thanks, Shell. I appreciate that you watched the demo. Uh, drawers. There are plenty of useless papers. Electric bills, installation CD, piano lessons, an insult letter. Wait, what? Someone named Erwin sent this letter a week ago. And curiously, among all the other barbs, a platypus? I didn't know it could be used in an insult. Let's read it. A handwritten letter I found in Fluffy's office. There's no address. It starts with a long list of insults. Some very creative stuff here. I didn't know platypus could be used in an insult. I like them. They're cute. It ends with a signature. Erwin. Blood. Blood drops. Fluffy was probably dead before falling from the top floor. That explains why he didn't land on his paws. I'm sure he was murdered, but I still don't know the reason. Ah, oh, my nose are just... The worst. Hmm, there's something interesting here, buried among all these papers. Someone's written, I can't keep hiding these two books every time. I would like a door that I can open electronically, quickly and easily. Can you do that for me? Thanks. Unfortunately, there's no delivery name or address. Ooh, spoopy. Only a single piece of paper left. Mouse tails, duck grease, salmon. It's a grocery list. Fluffy clearly enjoyed good food. But why is there a grocery list pinned up in his office? It seems like something that should be in the kitchen. I don't like when I don't understand. I'm taking it with me. Glass. Oh, Patty the Platypus. I haven't got time to start a puzzle. It's broken glass! We're playing a puzzle adventure! Goodness. I saw this broken window from the outside. Someone pushed him out the window. Like, it's straightened glass? Strengthened glass? Whoever did this was very strong. But why would the glass be on the inside if he was pushed out the window? That's my question. Oh, wait, was that another door? No, that was just the other side of the bookcase. Okay. <laughs> Waffles. Did you find a way to get to the top floor? Please, feel free to use me for more interrogation practice. Talk to me like you would any other person of interest. As you explore, you'll gather items and write down clues in your notepad. After that, you can ask me the next unanswered question on your list. And from there, you might need to show me items and clues that are somehow relevant to the questions. Eventually, you'll have asked enough questions to know where to go next. Ask him about the lady's perfume in Fluffy's bathroom. This clue won't shed any light on the current question. What about when Fluffy was alone? Perhaps I should mention a different clue or item. Now we'll talk about the secret office. I found a secret office on the top floor, Chief. A lot of blood, too. We need to get forensics up there. Do you think the murderer knew about the office? Could he have gotten in on his own? It's hard to say. He couldn't have been invited in. He could have been invited in or just knew how to gain access. Well, looks like this is turning into quite the case, Waffles. Seems that way, yeah and nothing about it is going to be cut and dry. Try to be a bit more optimistic, Waffles. We've solved our fair share of tricky cases in the past. I don't think now is the time for optimism, Chief. There's a dead body five free from where we're standing. Eh, perhaps you're right. We can celebrate once we've solved the case. Where's the witness, Chief? In front of her house on the street. 
So, what are we waiting for? Let's go and ask her some questions. Hey, hey, give me a minute. I need to finish my milkshake first. Seriously? That's the most important thing right now? I really can't think straight until I've had my milkshake. Let me enjoy it slowly, Waffles. And don't you go ruining it like you did last time. Talking about salty foods when I'm drinking a milkshake. <coughs> Respect the shake, Waffles. Let's ask him about something salty. Uh, talk to him about the Polaroid. The shake! Oh no, here it comes. I mean, who didn't see that coming? I mean, this is an animal game. Mouse tails, duck grease. What are you doing to me? Not this again. Can't you see that I'm enjoying my milkshake right now? Chief, I'm just sharing a clue with you. I found a grocery list in the secret office. Waffles, do you think I'm stupid? No, of course not. Just sharing the information. Duck grease and milkshake? Blech. It's hard to be a gourmet nowadays. You are disgusting. Oh, my stream deck isn't working. Disgusting. Oh, that worked. It's it's totally a banana milkshake. <laughs> Hi, Ark. How are you? Listen, we're just talking about bananas. That's all we're talking about. Why couldn't my internet drop and save me from this? <laughs> but you're still drinking your milkshake. You, can s you can't stop me this time. Let's go, Waffles. Imagine. Drinking a milkshake at a crime scene. This economy? Oh, no. Luma the reporter is already on the scene. This cat is suspicious. He always knows more than he should. Always the first reporter to arrive at a crime scene. How does he do it? Evening, inspectors. Is it true that Fluffy has been murdered by a dog? We'll provide a statement as soon as we think it's necessary. Come on, Patches. Give my readers something. We have no idea if the murderer was a dog. Maybe it was a dragon or a unicorn. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, Patches, which is why it works really well for me. But thanks anyway for the tip. What? I didn't give you a tip. Chief Patches, you just told him that you know Fluffy was murdered. We hadn't released that information yet. Oh. Uh, well, let's uh, keep that little slip a secret from the higher-ups. Got it, Luma? Waffles, let's go. You see that cat over there? That's the witness. Maybe she can help us out. Well, we're going to explore everything under the sun first. Hey, I'm Banana and she's Milkshake. It's true. Sometimes a banana is just a banana, and other times it's a ham banana. A ham nana, one might say. <laughs> We've already wasted too much time talking to Luma. It's better to just keep quiet for now. Everyone tells me that I should buy a new car. What's wrong with this one? It runs. Not fast, but it runs. It's not a frog nana. Frog Nana is not going to be replaced by Ham Nana. Never. Not possible. Looks like a haunted house from here. People won't be surprised when they find out someone was murdered there. It's late, but it's not that cold. So why did the neighbor start a fire? Cookie is our current mayor. He's running for re-election. His political opponent is the famous billionaire, Maple. I'm not interested in politics, but I know Cookie is favorite to win. Let's talk to Millie. Good evening, miss. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is Chief Patches. We need to ask you some questions. Nice to meet you, gentle cats. I'm sorry. I'm just too upset to talk right now after what happened to my 
Dear friends, well, I'm sorry to disturb you. I know it's not the best time. Were you alone when you saw the body? Is your husband home? Maybe you don't have a husband? Um, maybe it's better if I take the lead on this one? No offense, boss. Fine, go right ahead. I'll just watch. Yeah, thanks. Let's start. Miss Millie. Just Millie is fine. I have a couple of things I want to ask you, Millie. I'll help you as much as I can, Inspector. Did you know the victim? Yes. He was a kind cat and a good neighbor. I've never had any problem with him. We used to talk about flowers, cooking and traveling. Much offense, but boss, you're a dick, just saying. So just casual conversation? Never anything serious? Just idle chat, Inspector. I bet you have something that proves otherwise, Waffles. I do. I saw a bottle of perfume in the bathroom. That could belong to anybody, Inspector. Well, I mean, she's right. You, you need something more precise. Someone left this love letter in the house. Does it look familiar to you? Inspector, I'm not the only person in town whose name starts with M. The letter isn't mine. But do you know if Fluffy was in a relationship? Like I said, it was always just idle banter. So we still need to find out who this M is. So let's say you have nothing to do with this letter. Who do you think M is? Fluffy was single, if I had to guess. To be honest, I never saw anybody inside his house. You said you two would talk about lots of things. But not this. Fluffy led a lonely life. I don't think he was interested in finding someone. Um, uh, alert? No. Mention a different clip. I just like clicking on stuff. First line. So, how do you explain the lady's perfume in his bathroom? I just like to click. Leave me alone. Perfume? Les petits chatons parisiens. I'm sorry, Shell. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me. I don't know what you're talking about. Miss Millie, we need you to tell us the truth now. Inspector, I didn't write this letter. It's not my perfume, and I don't remember seeing anybody else inside this house. Except you. You went inside the house. Fine, yes. Except me, Inspector, you're right. But Fluffy was my friend, and I had no reason to kill him. What have you been doing for the last couple of hours? Nothing special. Just here at home, watching TV. You didn't want to go out? No, I'm an indoor cat. The kind of cat who enjoys a quiet night in. Even on a warm, beautiful evening? Yes, Inspector, and to be honest with you, I prefer chilly nights. So why did you start a fire in your house? Um, because it's really cold inside. Did you perhaps need to burn something important, Miss Millie? What are you employing? Of course not. Would you mind if we took a look inside your house? Do you have a prob Do you have probable cause connecting me to Fluffy's death? No, I, I don't. Do you have a warrant, Inspector? No, Miss. But then I'm sorry, but I can't let you in. You're well informed of your rights, Miss. Waffles. I'll try to get a warrant if I think it's necessary. But for right now, you don't have proof that she's related to Fluffy's death. Millie is very, very suspicious right now. Thank you, Chief Patches. Just Patches is fine, miss. Patches, keep your tail in your pants. I have to say, that's an interesting way to handle an interrogation, Chief. Did you see the killer? Almost. From my window, I saw someone running through the garden. Someone big. Probably not a cat. Any details you can recall? I don't know. Could you tell if they had white hair? The same color as this hair? No, it was darker than that, I think. Ah, there was more than one killer. Maybe. Maybe not. 
We can't assume that right now. Miss Millie, are you confident it wasn't a cat you saw? I'm not sure. I didn't actually see his face. Just a shadow. A big shadow. Everything happened so fast. I'm sorry, Inspector. No problem, miss. You know what they say. At night, all cats are gray. Thanks for that, Chief. You're welcome, Waffles. <laughs> Ridiculous. His tail is already out of his pants, in all fairness. The garden. <laughs> Do you know if Fluffy had enemies? Oh, oh, wrong voice. Do you know if Fluffy had enemies? Anybody who would want to hurt him? He owns a company which made a lot of money, so I would assume so, yes. Any names you can give us? Someone who might have a reason to want Fluffy dead? Not really, sorry. We didn't talk about business. Uh... Do you know a cat named Irwin? I don't know him personally, but Fluffy mentioned him once. Erwin is his brother, but they haven't talked to each other in years. Do you have any idea where I could find him? No, sorry. Fluffy didn't even know his brother was dead and alive. If his brother was dead and alive. Don't you mean dead or alive? Some say he's dead, some say he's alive. It depends on your point of view. I don't get it. What does he look like? He's a black cat, that's all I know. Would Erwin have any reason to murder Fluffy? I can't say, Inspector. I never met him. That's all I need to know, miss. Thank you for your help. So long, Inspector. And thank you, Patches. You were a real gentle cat. No problem, miss. Just doing my job. Wow. And this is Inspector Waffles after dark for sure. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, it's getting saucy. What are you thinking, Waffles? I think she's hiding something. So do I. You think her and Fluffy were lovers? I can't tell. I'm disappointed. Usually magic happens quickly with you. Listen, you know, sometimes the magic takes a little bit longer, okay? Sometimes the magic takes a little bit longer. I'm realizing that I totally covered up you being able to see Millie. My bad. Maybe I'm getting old, Chief. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Chief. Wow, he called us old. Damn. Millie isn't as clean as she pretends to be. She knew the victim very well. But how can I prove it? And Fluffy, why did he have a hidden office? Where's this Irwin fella? And this unknown cat on the Polaroid. Huh. A lot of things I can't make sense of right now. Did you know Maple can save your city with his skills as a great businessman? Vote Maple for mayor and Cat Down will be as successful as his companies. Ugh. Politics. Ugh. What about KFM? Vote for Mayor Cookie. He's the best for the city. Vote for Mayor Cookie and the happier... And let's try another radio station. And we have Lumo the reporter live at the scene. Lumo, tell us what you know. This cat is everywhere. Fluffy, the famous billionaire, was found dead at his home. Chief Patches confirmed he has been murdered. Inspector Waffles will be leading the case. He is the cat who arrested Snowball after the rooftop incident. Mm. Thanks for bringing that up, Lumo. Interesting to hear, Lumo. I thought Inspector Waffles had retired after what happened. Okay, that's enough radio for tonight. Poor Waffles. I'm getting too old for this shit was exactly happening. CEO of Box Furniture assassinated. People looking for suspects in Cat Town. Poor Waffles. Ooh, chapter two. More than one way to skin a cat. Oh my god, our office is a mess. Patsy's is always eating or drinking something. I'm 100% sure that probably is a shirt. Waffles. Waffles, wake up. I'm sleeping, Chief. That's the problem, Waffles. Don't you have an apartment? 
I'm fine here. Waffles, come to my office. That's an order. I'm moving the fox down. Someone important is here for you. Oh, is it my mom? Mom, you can't just come to my job. Okay, okay, I'll be there. Give me five minutes. Two minutes. Clean yourself up. Don't keep our guests waiting. Patches is all of us. Wow, look at our office. It's a mess. If I could easily find any folder in my cabinet, could anyone accuse me of being messy? Yes, I just did. I just accused you of being messy. Look at your office. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Disgusting. It's true. A bulletin board, a dead plant, a bulletin board. Shit all over the floor. A pile of books on my chair is just not so subtle way to say people are not welcome in my office. I should just do that all over my house. My weapon is in the upper drawer, but I don't need it right now. Oh, I forgot about this flask of strong milk. Six-year-old cask strength and good stuff. Waffles. Waffles, you can't just leave milk in your drawer. Did anybody tell you that? Waffles, I'm con I'm a heckin' concern. I'm starting to wonder if I should just put myself up here. Mirror myself. Da 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 um, I think it'll be better to be up here. Flip. Horizontal? Yes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, that sounds curdled. That sounds horrifying. It's not a good idea. Sorry, I'm just going to flip my camera uh, really quick because I am looking this way when I talk. I don't want to be rude to everybody watching. Unfortunately, I don't drink anymore. Well, at least not during work hours. Yeah, you were drinking last night. What are you talking about? But it could be useful for later, depending on how the day goes. That's a move. Chance, not a very smart dog. His name fits him perfectly. If there's a god for dogs, this guy was blessed like no one else. He was so famed for his luck that bad guys want him on their team for heists and burglaries. He's practically useless for any given task, but he's a real lucky charm. Wow. Pepper, a witty criminal cat. He ruled an empire of illegal milk distilleries. We put an end to his mafia business, put him in jail. Two weeks later, he disappeared. No one knows how he did it. Thanks for that host arc. Since then, we've had no hints as to his whereabouts. He's good. Really good. Sorry for the nose itches. I don't know why my nose itches so bad today. Alright, Fox, you gotta move over a little bit. There you go. But I'm not drinking. I'm not drinking anymore, but I'm not drinking any less! <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Meatballs. Big muscle, but not too bright. I know him very well. We were in kitten garden together. Younger, he wasn't afraid of anything. Except his mom. He's not a leader, but every time something bad happens in this city. Got all those. Shit on the floor. My plant. I did my best, but I came to the inevitable conclusion. I'm not able to keep a plant alive. That's a mood. I'm just not drinking. Maybe that's the problem. It's true. Singing. Best thing in this office is the view. From here, the city seems to be a great place to live. It's our mom. I bet it's our mom. That's Patch's office, Waffle's office. The Cat Town Police Department logo. In the center, the legendary unknown inspector. 
They were the first to solve a case in this city. The kitten and the broken branch. I studied it in university. An interesting case. Here we go. You should grab a drink. I agree. Oh, the mayor. Hello, Waffles. Glad to see you again. Mayor Cookie, what a surprise. What brings you here? He brought us croissants. And they're so good. But that's probably not the only reason, Chief. No, it's not. But please, have a croissant, Waffles. They're delicious. Oh, thank you, Mayor. I have to say, they look very tasty. I'm a little surprised you took one. I thought you only liked waffles. Huh, I'm sure he's not sick to fudging death about that joke, huh? 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 I bet he still finds it funny. I bet it's his favorite joke. Huh? Mayor Cookie, that was hilarious. First time I've heard that joke, Mayor. Sorry for that, but I had to. Anyway, now let's be serious. I need to talk to you about Fluffy. This is a tragedy for me. I knew Fluffy personally since Kitten Garden. We were like brothers. I'm very sorry for your loss, Mayor. I came here to say this. I want you to put all of your efforts into finding out who is behind this. No more cats stuck up trees or behind glass doors. This is your only priority now. Of course, Mayor, it's not a problem. We're in the middle of an election year and I can't afford to have a killer roaming the streets. Maple's already told everyone that I'm a coward. Catown is in shambles and so on. This could ruin me for good. Such a liar. You can count on us, Mayor Cookie. Anything else? You're free to go. Thank you. Until next time, Mayor. Wow, they just booted me out of the office. Patches, I guess you know what you're doing with this cat. He's still the best inspector I've got. The most depressed inspector, I would say. But give him a chance, Mayor. I am. I know that Waffles is very talented, but that's not the problem. He can't blow everything up like he did with the snowball case. We can't go through that again. He won't. I promise. Alright, good. Because this is his last chance to stay on the team, Patches. Wow, first of all... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Look, how, look how shabby this place is. Exposed brick wall. This building is falling apart. Should I be worried? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's pre-war. <laughs> I'm a bad person. Uh, Mocha! Hey, Mocha! You in there? Who is it? It's Waffles. Oh, no. Not you again. Leave me alone. Nice to talk to you, too, Mocha. You're just a hassle, Waffles. Why can't you be like your colleagues? What do you mean? I spend half my time filling out paperwork because of you. Not only warrants, no. I have to justify why you steal clues on the crime scenes. I, I don't steal them, I just keep them with me to more quickly solve crimes. Have you ever heard the word procedure, Waffles? Yeah, it's another way of saying wasting time. And you never clean up after yourself when you leave the lunchroom. I've got an entire department complaining about the messes you make. I did it again? Sometimes I forget if I'm in a rush. I'm really sorry. I'll be more careful next time, promise. Mm-hmm. What do you want, Waffles? Mocha, you're right. I'm not the best colleague. You deserve to be surrounded by nice, polite, and organized police cats and police dogs. You're a true asset, and everyone should be grateful for having you around. Hmm. You're gonna be better than that, Waffles. Compliments aren't enough? No. For starters, bring me a decent breakfast. Cinnamon coffee and almond croissant, please. Maybe then I'll see if I can help. Wow! Maybe just a croissant is a good start? Is it an almond croissant? No, just a regular one, but really tasty. I'm sorry, but I prefer the ones with almonds. Are you serious? I didn't even know that kind of croissant existed. You're in desperate need of my help, right? Okay, fine. I'll find an almond croissant. Shouldn't be difficult for the best detective in town. A little help. Try a bakery. Great tip, Melka. Very helpful. You're welcome, Waffles. This is so much fun. Man. We have to go find a bakery. Mocha is done with our bullshit. Done. 
another one for Racing Nine Fanta. I know, like that's how I feel with my colleagues sometimes. Waffles, how you doing, pal? A bit hungover, but apart from that, I'm fine. Still sleeping here? Yes. Don't tell anyone. I think everyone already knows Waffles. Are you busy? I'd like to talk to you about Fluffy's trip to the box. I'm half awake. Please don't start my day with bad puns. Oh, you're the first one who gets it! Finally! Yeah, because Fluffy owned box furniture. <laughs> well, maybe their brains are just empty boxes! Morty is us. This game is making me hungry. Now I want a croissant. Shit. So, about Fluffy's death. Let's go to the morgue. Let's all go to the morgue! No? No? Okay. Is that Fluffy? Yes. Sorry, I didn't have time to put him in a box. Are you done? Come on, that was a good one! They say artists are never appreciated in their time. Yeah, I'm sure. Can you tell me anything about the killer? Oh, yeah. I have come to the conclusion that our killer is very strong. No cat could throw someone this heavy through a window. So you're confirming why suspicion Fluffy was murdered, right? Do you see the bruises on his wrists? Yeah, I'm guessing someone held him down with such floor force that Fluffy couldn't defend himself. Exactly. Fluffy wasn't young, but he was a big cat. Hard to move. And he was tossed out like a trash bag. Impressive strength, really. So, if not a cat, then it must be a dog, right? Possibly. A very big dog, or... Or what? There's a deep wound on his left arm. Hypothetically, a dog could have caused that, but... What if he was attacked by... A wolf. The plot thickens! A wolf? Morty, come on! You know wolves disappeared centuries ago. I know. I know. But I have never seen a dog cause a wound like that. I have no better explanation right now. Well, I guess now I have to prove wolves still don't exist. Thanks for the help, Morty. No problem, Waffles. I wouldn't dismiss wolves like just yet. Anything's possible, you know. Sometimes you need to think outside of the box. They made this game for me. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? <sighs> so long, Morty. Poor Fluffy. He probably didn't expect to die like that. Are you waiting for a new victim? Yes, unfortunately. Report says a cat threw himself off a building. Ah, another dying lifer, I take it. So he wrote a suicide note, at least. Seems like there are more and more of these nine lifers turning up. Can't swing a dead cat in this town without hitting one. I don't know if I like your humor or find it disturbing, Morty. That's really nice of you, Inspector. Morty is, uh, he's a person. Well, he's a cat. He's a person cat. He's a cat person. I've heard enough jokes about boxes for today. Alright, let's head out. We need to go to the bakery. We have bad news for you, Morty. Wolves or dogs? This coffee machine makes the worst coffee I've ever tasted. It's like someone is trying to poison us. I won't have another drop of any liquid this machine spills out. But I'll take a cup with me. You never know, could help in an interrogation, or with cleaning my car's windshield. Well, wow, is it vanilla? Oh, disgusting coffee. No one behind bars right now. Ah, uh, that's the morgue. Before I leave, I should show Pixel all the clues I've got. Who's Pixel? Help me, Rick! Who's Pixel? I'm lost. Oh, hall. Ah! Ooh. We got lost. Empty office? There's a second window in this room where you can see into the interrogation room. It isn't a real office, though. There's no Inspector Nato working there. Obviously, Pat just came up with this fake name. And yes, he thought it was hilarious. Inspector Nato? Pat's sense of humor can be tiresome at times. I'm literally... This game was made for me. They made this game for me. This was also Pancake's office before, if 
but I don't want to talk about that. I don't like being in the interrogation room when there's no one to interrogate. Not that I'm superstitious, it just makes me feel anxious. Oh, we're gonna go talk to Pixel. Who enjoys bad puns? That wireless riot streamer. Let her make a game with nothing but bad puns. See, exactly. Like, they're like, oh, shitty puns? Oh, look, we can be Pixel. This is all of us. Look at that setup. Look at that setup. Hey, Pixel, how are you? Fine. Currently trying to optimize the main database design. The old ration relational model was not normalized. Somebody did a terrible job. I don't understand a single word you just said. Uh, um, to make it simple, if you want to query the database, simpler, please. I'm doing my best to make things faster. Thank you. Seems straightforward. Technology is not your strong suit, Waffles. It's my arch nemesis, really? In all fairness. Oh, trinkets. Pixel enjoys collecting trinkets. They mean nothing to me because I don't understand what they refer to. Computers. Pixel is writing some computer code. I'd like to understand more about what he's doing. But learning that stuff can be so intimidating. I don't understand technical jargon. I'm not a geek. It looks like Morse code, I think. Should I really try to decipher it? Don't bother. Pixel told me the DNA machine is broken. Maybe I should find a way to fix it. Yes, us. Waffles. Let's find a way to fix the DNA machine. Did they try turning it off and on again? They missed an easy joke with not giving Waffles a chicken for a partner. Damn it! Missed opportunities. Maybe in a DLC. Can't look into Pixel's desk drawers while he's here. Anything here? No computers, board, trinkets, Pixel. I'm gonna need some help with the fluffy case. Sure, do you have something to show me? Any unexpected objects you found at his residence? Yeah. I found this hair in Fluffy's office. That's interesting. Can I keep it? Of course. This could be a really good lead. You can use your DNA analyzer to tell me who the hair belongs to. Well, unfortunately, I can't use the DNA scanner. It was broken. Since when? I had no idea. Three days ago, someone was playing with a ball in my office. Pixel. I know you don't want anyone in your office. You always close the door, even when you're gone for less than 30 seconds. I am sure, with zero doubt, that you are the one who broke it. Don't tell, Patches! I won't. It's none of my business. And if you could help me find a replacement CPU for it, that would be awesome. Anything in uh, the X8 line is perfect. Yeah, sure, I'll track that one down. Although I've already forgotten what you asked for. Oh, we already did that. I found this Polaroid on Fluffy's body. Hmm. Not the victim. Well, yes, I know that. But can you tell me who he is? No, I've never seen him. I... Okay. Yes. Can you maybe run this photo through one of your technology things? I don't have any facial recognition software, Waffles. Which your love if I did. I already asked for one, but Patches didn't answer my emails. I doubt Patches understands what you're looking for, IRL. That is a mood. If my phone didn't ring, I would never talk to anybody, IRL. Anyone younger than 30, the fuck is a full of <laughs> Well, they got kind of... They got... Polaroids made a little bit of a comeback with Instagram when they had that filter. I can see that. Anyway, if you could help me find out who this cat is. Give me the Polaroid. Compare it with some of the other photos we have. One second. There you go. Copy the Polaroid. You can keep it. Pixel, how did you make a copy without moving from your chair? Don't try to understand waffles. It's too tactical for you. I'm gonna need some help. Sure, do you have anything new? Any unexpected objects? Uh, insult letter? Someone named Erwin sent a very nasty letter to the victim. Interesting. Let me run a scan. Twitch is struggling? Oh my god, I hope it's Twitch and not me or I'm gonna get big angry. Because I don't show any dropped frames and normally it'll tell me I've dropped frames if my, if my connection sucks. Is it having a rough time? What's weird? 
What happened? Air 2000? Uh, is it just me or is it Twitch? I'm gonna get big angry if it's just me though. Oh no. <laughs> is Twitch back? Let me know if you guys are still having issues. There we go. Okay. There are 30 cats named Irwin in Cat Town. That's a lot of Irwins. If it helps, he's Fluffy's brother. Unfortunately, this database doesn't know the relations between cats. I told you it was poorly designed. What? You can't differentiate two cats with the same name? Did you ever meet a cat with the last name, Waffles? Oh, fair point. I'm stuck. Well, there is one option, but you're not going to like it. Don't say Spotty. Spotty is an amazing sniffer, Waffles. He can help you find where your Irwin lives. Come on, how can you put any value in his methods? They're prehistoric. He's good, Waffles. A real good dog. You should ask for his help. Or you can knock at 30 doors all across the city. Your choice. Okay, I think Pixel's done everything he can for now. It's time to meet Spotty and ask him for something. I never thought I'd need his help. Alright, let's go find Spotty. Interrogation room. Empty office. I'm good now? Sweet. Hatches is still talking with Mayor Cookie. Probably discussing which bakery is the best in town. That's back to upstairs, Mocha. We don't want to give Mocha our, our disgusting coffee. Alright, we can leave now. You know what I miss the most about my city? Smoked sockeye salmon from Foxy Burger. It's the best place in the world. Imagine the taste, the flavor. <sighs> I miss my home. Eh, I don't like fish. What? How is that possible? I don't know, it smells really bad. Like cheese. Well, what about other seafood? It all stinks. Oh. Okay then. I like hot dogs. <laughs> Good one, Spotty. I didn't know you were so funny. But... I really like hot dogs. Why is that funny? Because you are a dog. Hi, Sister Jude. How are you? It's good to see you. We are playing Inspector Waffles this evening. Very, uh, very, very punny. It is a very punny game. I'm doing great. It's been a good day. Playing Inspector Waffles, having a beer. Twitch is being a pain in the ass. A lot of dogs like hot dogs. Sausages are good. I could revel in this awkward conversation for a very long time. My internet returns to a raccoon. If anyone's lost, to restart the stream. Uh, oh, okay, so it'll be at a 30 second delay. That's fun. Just read a training material about hostile work environments. Oh, God help you. No mocking hot dogs. Everyone, hot dogs are good. I could revel in this long, awkward conversation for a long time. But I need Spotty. He could help me with the case. Finally remembered to renew my Switch membership. Let me know. Um, I think I have. I either have to renew mine. I'm not sure if I do. I think I got it. I think I did it already. But let me know if you want me to open up my island tonight. I have everything um, hanging around. If it doesn't drive me crazy first, let's talk to Spotty. Hey, Spotty. How are you? Hello, Inspector Waffles. I'm fine. Not much to do right now. Let me introduce you to Howard. He's a detective from, let's just say, far away. Nice to meet you, Inspector Waffles. I've only heard good things about you. Also, Twitch is the is like skipping over your five seconds. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I don't have any dropped frames or anything, so I don't think it's on my side. Normally, if it's my internet, I'll have dropped frames, but I don't have anything. 
Nice to meet you, detective. Spotty, I need a paw. I've heard you're a pretty talented sniffer. Maybe you could help me out? A job? For me? Of course I can help. Um, okay. Wow, uh, thank you. And please calm down. I have here a letter written by someone named Irwin. Can you find where he lives? Oh, perfect. Of course. Let me take a sniff. Yeah, It smells like fish! Oh, terrible. Disgusting. Can I help? I've got a good nose, too. Sure, why not? The more the merrier. There are distinct hints of tomato sauce and grilled codfish. I got that, too! I'm picking it up in this direction! Uh, this is gonna be... Well, it's, it's gonna be a day. Howard, appreciate the help. Very welcome, Inspector. Great seeing you. I'll be leaving today. Don't know if we'll meet again. Well, enjoy your time in Cat Town. I'll do my best. Spotty, let's move and please try to contain your excitement a bit. I'll try, I promise. I'm just very happy to go on an adventure with you. Okay, follow me. Yeah, he's an excited doggo. Excited puppy. Straight ahead. Spotty, we've already gone this way. I know. I'm sorry, Inspector. There's a fish shop around the corner. The smells are kind of blending in to each other. Spotty's not going to pee in the car. He knows better. Don't, don't doubt, Spotty. My nose is confused. I still can't believe I put my trust in your sense of smell. Do you also do divinations? No, sorry. But I have an aunt who uses bones to look into the future. If you're interested, you should call her. If she can see the future... She already knows I won't. Don't knock it. Don't knock it, Waffles. 30 minutes later. <laughs> I'm still in the car. Spotty, you see that barber shop across the street? Comb as you are? Yeah, why? You're a regular there? No. I've never been inside. Despite of my deep love for puns. But my point is, this is the fifth time we've driven past it, Spotty. In other words, we're going round in circles. I thought the same thing. Weird, right? Or maybe, just maybe, you have no idea where we're going. Spotty just wanted to go on a car ride. That's realistically what's happening here. <laughs> of course I know. Just give me some time. Oh, no. Don't you dare come in here. Don't you dare come in here like that, Desi of the Fox. Here we are! Told you I'd find the place! Of course it's a hot dog stand! Of course it's a hot dog stand! Yeah, great work, and it only took an hour. It's not that bad! And look there! You can see the police station! Only two blocks away! Oh, neat! Do you think they can see us? I... That, that's not my point, Spotty. Alrighty! Let's start, start inspectoring! Let's become inspectorologists! That's not a word, Spotty. Not even close, either. How do you say it? When you're looking for clues and interrogating witnesses. Investigating. Oh. Right. So let's start investigating. If you need me to sniff something, just ask. I will. I'm sure you have your part to play. Alright, we can go... Ooh, a tiger print chair. Who would buy this and put it in their home? Um, The Sims? <laughs> <laughs> three weeks later. Maybe cats who want to feel a bit more primal? I guess if being primal also means being gaudy, sure. <gasps> Don't knock people's taste. Let's go to the antique shop first. Start from right. We'll go back. <laughs> right, have you seen Get Famous? Have you ever opened The Sims? This place is in the mood. Is that? Hold on, I have to move me. Does that look like the the cat from your little your little character from Luna? That looks like the little character from Luna, right? 
Chunky Boy? I'd be curious. It looks like Chunky Boy. If that's Chunky Boy, I am going to lose all of myself. Hi there, miss. I am Inspector Waffles, and this is my partner, Spotty. Hello, madam. Are you still here to buy something? No, unfortunately. I'm here as a part of an investigation. I've done nothing wrong my entire life. Why come in here and disturb me? I think she's going to be a tough nut to crack, Inspector. I think I agree. Why bring back the same the pain and suffering of that game? I agree. Do you know a cat named Irwin? No. He lives just across the street? Maybe he's been in your shop at some point? I don't know him, and I've never seen him. Next question, please. I have a shop to manage. You have a lot of paintings. Statues, plushies. Yes, I do. These are all very valuable to me. All of these artists spent so much time making these masterpieces. Actually, you know what? Let me take a let me take a screenshot. They should be compensated according to their value. So, if you want something, we need to agree on a fair price. Unfortunately, we're not here to buy something. So get straight to the point, Inspector. I've got customers to help. <laughs> About your customers, what's up with the dog in the red suit? I don't know, actually. He grabbed a fishing rod, played with it a little, and suddenly he was hypnotized. <laughs> and you haven't tried helping him? Why should I? My only concern is if he's going to buy it. It's a high-quality piece made of wood from a tree that's now extinct by a 5th century artisan from ancient Eastern tribe. An impressive relic, to say the least. It would be such a shame to miss out on the opportunity to buy it. <gasps> oh, we should get it. Spotty, you hate fish. Why would you want a fishing rod? Uh, because I don't have a fishing rod. For your own sake, Spotty, I'd encourage you to shield your eyes from commercials. We'll pass on the rod, but thanks. That's quite a nice looking coffee machine you've got behind the counter. I'm a coffee addict. I like to enjoy a cup of cinnamon coffee while I'm working. Oh, that sounds delightful. I love cinnamon coffee. Be nice if you could share a cup with me. In a takeaway cup. Please? Inspector, nothing is free here. You can use the coffee machine if you give me something that I can sell here. Business is business. <gasps> Our flask of milk. What? Uh. Really? She doesn't want our flask of milk? I wonder if we just don't have anything. Let's go to questions. Antique means old, not made two days ago. But the text is unique. Very well written indeed. If you had a letter like this one, but antique, it would be perfect. Maybe something in my inventory could alter this letter to make it older? Ooh! Oops. I think I have to back out. I'll ask later. Alright, let's go into our thing. I've seen on TV that you can make documents look older with coffee stains. There's so many stupid things on TV, but I guess it's worth a try. Not that I have a better idea, anyway. Okay, I emptied half my coffee. Now the letter looks older, but is also completely wet. I need to find a way to dry it. We can find a way to dry it. Paintings. An eclectic collection of paintings, drawings, and posters. A medieval procession, a train in front of mountains, an axolotl smoking a pipe, an escaping ape, a spaceship, a non-evolved non cat? I'm curious about the stories behind these pictures. A unicorn head, a mug, a stone statue, a pizza clock, a pyramid with an eye, and what's that? A porcupine? A cat? Both? Incredible. This is the weirdest stuff you can find at any antique shop in town. Hi there, sir. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is Spotty. Hello? Can you hear me? I don't think I can hear you, Inspector. Yeah, thanks for the heads up, Spotty. You're welcome, Inspector. 
How are we gonna get him back to normal? I don't think we wanna... I don't think we can. We might not have anything right now. Let's go to the other... I already saw your joke, Desaya. I already saw your joke. <laughs> Ooh, luxurious bones. And here, luxury means owning expensive bones from extinct animals. Wow, it's my dream to have one of those bones someday. But you don't seem to care much for them. For me, luxury is an expensive, aged, strong milk or a nice bluefin tuna. Tuna? Cats are weird. They are. Cats are weird. Oh, Erwin's mailbox. It's Erwin's mailbox. Maybe something useful inside? How do we get it open? We don't have anything. It's the janitor's mailbox. And it's someone else's mailbox. The label is missing. Like the label said, spell his mailbox. Hello, sir. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is my partner, Spotty. Can we ask you a few questions? Pleased to meet you, Inspector. My name's Duke. I'm the janitor here. What can I do for you? We are looking at one of the resident into one of the residents here. Name's Irwin. Irwin the cat. Yep, yeah, I know. You have the keys to every apartment in the building, correct? Yes, sir, I do. Can you give me the keys to Irwin's place? No, sir, I cannot. It's part of an investigation, sir. You have a warrant? Ah, oh, jeez. I guess we now live in a world of bureaucracy and paperwork. A dream come true. And what if I told you that I was in kindergarten with Erwin? Would that help? He's my friend. Really? I didn't know. I thought Erwin was friends with the mayor. Spotty, stay still. So, you say you know Erwin a long time, right? Oh, yes. A long, long time. I reckon you could prove it, Yeah. I don't think showing them the site. Why? But we can. <laughs> I know he's a black cat. Yes, sir, that's true. Tell me, do you think black cats are good luck or bad luck? They're best luck. I guess it could depend on who you're asking. Everybody thinks something different. Yep, right. But what do you think? I'll let you know when I find her one. It's scruffy for sure. <laughs> Alrighty. Tell me two more things about him and I'll believe you. Oh! We don't know anything about Erwin. Maybe another time. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Bella! Oh. Hello, kitty cat. Good morning, madam. I'm Inspector Waffles, and this is my partner, Spotty. Madam. No, I've called me that in a very long time. Please, just call me Bella. I'm not doing the accent. I won't do it. She will never forgive me. She will literally yeet me into the sun. I don't want to get yeeted into the sun. What is a lovely cat like you doing in a neighborhood like this? We're looking for your neighbor, a cat named Irwin. Oh, let's talk about you, not about this Irwin. How cute you are! I, I think she's flirting with you, Inspector. What clued you in, Spotty? Oh, when she said you were cute. His innocence is... Ooh la la! Did someone say... <laughs> <laughs> Spend a full day with him and you'll change your mind. Ooh, a full day with a strapping dog. What would you say, Mr. Spotty? I'm on duty, madam. I can't allow personal questions like that to interfere with my job. <gasps> so adorable. Look at how serious he is. Can I ask some questions, Miss Bella? But of course. <laughs> the developer is French. So it makes me laugh. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Don't! Oh, come on! Everybody else says ooh la la! How well do you know Ruin? 
He is the only cat living in this neighborhood. He is easy to spot. But I do not know him very well. He is a shy cat, no? Only a few friends. How do you know that? My door is always open. Especially for a kitty cat like you. I see whoever is coming through the corridor. And Erwin, he did not get out much. No visitors. I do not think he even shared his address with his family. Did you notice any unusual behaviors? No, no. He helped residents here with the small electrical tasks. Fix the light, repair the TV, things like that. Good with his paws. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. When she murders you, I'm not gonna feel bad. And in return, we give him milk and cookies and a couple of dollars to pay the rent. Oh, sorry about that. I work for free food too. He doesn't have a job. I have seen him leave his apartment sometime for one or two hours, but was it work? I cannot say. It was not often, maybe twice a week. Thank you. When was the last time you saw Erwin? Oh, yesterday, in fact. He left his apartment so quickly. He had a big case of luggage with him. But alas, he has not come back yet. That poor, poor kitty. I'm done sneezing. the insult letter really I don't think she has much I'm not sure what to ask cat's got my tongue <laughs> spotty can your nose pick up anything special here <laughs> tomato sauce and grilled codfish right here in front of us let's find out uh, da, da, da. let's go down this corridor let's see what's in this direction Spotty, watch out! A snake! Oh, where? I don't see anything. Someone forgot their grocery bag, and it's just underneath it. I don't think that's a snake. Let me take a closer look. Oh, my God. See? It's a giant pickle. Oh, yes. Of course it is. Inspector, I have to ask, are you afraid of snakes? No! What? A little. No, of course not. It's just, it really looks like one, right? I guess a little, but not really at all. <laughs> Spotty, can you grab the snaky picker pickle over there? Sure, but why ask me? Never ask me to do anything. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Yes, but if you need something, you just take it without asking anyone. Just curious why you would ask me this time. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Here. A fresh pickle with no scales or teeth. <laughs> Looks like someone accidentally left their groceries out here. Or they had to leave in a rush. Or were forced to do so. There's something under the bat. Like a magazine. Oh, it's better than that. A wool ball collectible card album. Fantastic. What is it? You can collect wool ball player cards, and you keep them in your collector's album. Oh, that's... Cool, I guess. Look at that! Some cards are missing! This is the first time I've seen you excited about something, Inspector. I dedicated my youth to collecting these cards. Let's take it! I'll give it back to Erwin later. With the missing cards? Let's say it's a secondary investigation. Don't forget we should focus on Fluffy's case right now. Of course, Inspector. <laughs> Door is closed. Need to find the right key. Tenants wouldn't be happy if I turned off the electricity or water for no reason. That's back to Bella's apartment. Okay, so who was downstairs? Whose apartment is this? I guess nobody of consequence, huh?
Dogs really love the rain. Puppies jumping in puddles, rolling around in mud. I can confirm, Inspector, it is a lot of fun. We're more of a house, people. Whoever owns this umbrella is definitely a cat. A dog would enjoy the raindrops, not avoid them. Excuse me, sir? Yes? Do you know who this umbrella belongs to? Nope. Someone forgot it here a couple days ago. It's not Ruin's umbrella? Nah, his is red. Easy to remember. Understood. Thank you. Hmm. Who would have left their umbrella here? <laughs> Let's go ask Bella. Oops. Hmm. I'm missing something. <laughs> Living Ted would jump in mud again, it's true. Uh, let's go back downstairs. I wanna go talk to the hot dog guy. Hi, my name is Frank. What can I get for ya? Hmm, what's on the menu? We have the red option, hot dog with ketchup, the yellow option, hot dog with mustard, and if you want to try something different, we have the gourmet option, the hot dog with ketchup and mustard. Mmm, it all sounds so tasty. Not now, Spotty. We're in the middle of an investigation. But if you do well, I'll make sure you get one. Awesome! What's investigating? Did you notice that I didn't say inspectoring waffles? You are a good boy, Spotty. But still no hot dog right now. Maybe later. I'm Inspector Waffles, by the way. I'm investigating a recent death. Oh no! Someone choked on one of my hot dogs again? No, no. This is a bit more complex. Do you know a cat named Erwin? He lives in an apartment here just above us. Would be hard not knowing him. He's the only cat living in the neighborhood. What can you tell me about him? I never talked to him. I just heard he's messing around with a bunch of electronics up there. Haven't seen him for a long time, though. How long? I'm hungry now, too. Four days. That's not so much. Don't forget, that's for dogs. It's seven times longer. Anything else I should know about him? Oops, wrong voice. I guess he's got a lip? I heard him complain once about how the stairs were painful for him to use. Duly noted. Thanks. Inspectorologist waffles from Chicken Lane. You're welcome. Do you know if Irwin had any visitors recently? Hard to say, Inspector. Lots of dogs are in and out of the building every day. Maybe they were here to see your cat. Maybe not. You mentioned dogs specifically. Have you ever seen another cat coming in? I don't think so. Do you have something that proves the cat's been here? I do. An umbrella. Yes, I do. I don't know who, but someone came by here a couple of days ago. It was raining. They had a black umbrella. Can I ring a bell? I noticed somebody with a black umbrella, but didn't get a good look at the snout. Sorry. Not a bouncer for the building, that's all I remember. Would you be confident in saying that it was a cat? With an umbrella? Obviously a cat. That's what I thought. Anything else? Oh! A white tail, very well groomed. Definitely stuck out in this neighborhood. Not many people around here who can afford such a pampered lifestyle. Interesting. This is very useful, Frank. Thanks. <laughs> What's up, Spotty? There's another odor. Can you smell it? Sir, did you use cinnamon recently? That's right. And the best of its kind shipped all the way from Madagascar. The purest cinnamon you can find in the world. That was impressive, Spotty. Just doing my job, Inspector. I'm making a cat down a side hot dog and I can't find an ingredient for my recipe. I have tomatoes, onions, and peppers, but I'm still missing something. And your cinnamon isn't doing the trick, is it? No, unfortunately. Good. So we aren't using it. Can you give me the rest? Inspector, do you have any idea how much it costs? Probably a lot. You have no idea how right you are. But if you help me find my missing ingredient, I can share the cinnamon. Alright, that's a fair deal. Inspector, did you find the perfect ingredient for my cat town style hot dog? Uh, a pickle! Did you try adding a giant pickle? <laughs> this is so random. Have you tried pickles? Brilliant idea, Inspector. Why didn't I think of that? 
The pickle sourness will pair perfectly with fresh tomatoes and hot peppers. That sounds so tasty. You want to try one on the house, bud? More than anything. Is it okay with you, Inspector? Ah, eh, go for it, Spotty. Enjoy. It's so delicious! What an appetite. Frank, if I remember correctly, we agreed that I could trade this for some cinnamon. That's right. Take this, it's all I have left. Thanks a lot. Good doing business with you. Enjoy your day. Same to you, Inspector. Okay. She wants something that we can s We have to dry out. So we have to dry out the letter. We're not trading cinnamon away. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, oh, it's a leaky tap over there. Maybe the tenant had to leave his apartment quickly? Or was distracted and forgot to turn off the tap? Who knows? It's a mystery for another day. That's probably Urban's apartment. What are you talking about mystery for another day? Are we gonna put cinnamon in disgusting coffee? No. Okay, so we need to dry out the letter. So we need to find a way to dry it out. Wait, what did I mouse over? Whoopsies! Mouse over something. Oh, it's funny. Sorry, Spotty. You're not what we're looking for right now. Erwin has a limp. <laughs> Maybe you've noticed. He's got a limp. Yes, sir, that's true. Do you know why? No, nah, sir, he never told me. I know why, but I can't tell. I swore to never say what happened. I was there. Trust me. <laughs> Fair enough. You know I'm pretty good, but I need one more piece of proof. <laughs> oh no. Uh That's not Irwin. Irwin collects wool ball player cards. Oh yes, sir. He asked me once if I knew anybody who owns rare cards. But my friends only collect bones and plushies. Confound it. He's still looking for a Scotty Kitten card, you know? It was Irwin's downright favorite player, I reckon. To be honest, I don't know. He never mentioned any specific players to me. Oh, you don't say? That's awfully surprising. Fine, fine. You know Ruin as good as a friend can. I ain't doubting you anymore. Thank you, dupe. Glad to have your trust. Let me grab you the spare keys. I hope you can find all Erwin Inspector. Likewise. I'll get these back to you as soon as I can. Here we go! We're going to Erwin's apartment! We have to go turn off his leaky faucet. It's giving me hives. Wait, let's go talk to Bella really quick. Because we... She said she saw Erwin yesterday. Yeah. The hot dog seller out front said something different. He said he saw Erwin for the last time four or five days ago. One of you is wrong, or you're both lying. Oh, I would not lie to you, Mia Moore. I saw a cat leave that apartment yesterday. Could you tell if the cat was Erwin? Yes, I do believe so. Can you be sure? Yeah. I'm not sure. But it was definitely a cat. So you saw a cat leave Erwin's apartment yesterday, but you weren't sure if it was Erwin. Do you think it could have been someone else? I'm like super cut off over in the corner here. Giving me hives. It is hard to say. My little cat. He was walking very fast, but Erwin has a limp. Oh, yes, that is true. It is not very easy to notice, but yes, Erwin does have some trouble walking. So if Erwin can't run, that means he can't be the cat you've seen. Oh, I think you're onto something, Inspector. Handsome and smart? How sexy. <clears throat> Who was the cat that left Erwin's place? I really could not say. His face was hidden from me, and I did not know any cats except Erwin. I do hope you can find him. This might be unusual to say, but we all liked Erwin here. 
He has been so helpful to many of us, even if he is not a dog like me. He is a valued part of our community. She's thirsty. That's okay. Look. We'll do our best, Miss Bella. I know you will, my love. Thank you very much. Hello, kitty cat. Did you come to me for round two? Yes, but not like that. I need your help with something else. Anything for you, my little cat. What were we thinking? Can I use your hair dryer? That's what she has. Oh, you do not need that. Your hair is already perfect. Not for my hair. I need to dry this letter. Oh, but of course. Just a moment. Ooh la la. A love letter. I knew you were a kinky cat. What? No, it's not. <sighs> Never mind. No need for excuses. I don't understand, Inspector. Why are we trying to dry out your love letter? The letter wasn't for me! If I were to tell you that I was tampering with a piece of evidence to trick an administrator into giving me a warrant... Will you freak out? Oh, absolutely, yes. Okay. So then I'm not doing that at all. Trust me on this body. Of course. It is now dry. It looks like an old paper now. Why would you want to ruin this? Not ruined. It's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, Miss Bella. Okay. We have the key. I had no idea you knew Erwin so well, Inspector. You must be so sad that your best friend is missing. Oh, Spotty. 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 You're a good boy, Spotty. That's very kind of you to say, but I was playing the janitor. You lied to him? To get the keys? Of course I was. I've never met Erwin in my life. I... I don't feel comfortable with this. I'm not going into his apartment. Not without a warrant. We need to do this the right way. A horn dog. Wow, that's bad. Poor Bella. My goodness. Well, Mocha doesn't want to help me on this, so there won't be any warrant. As you want, Inspector. Without it, I'm not coming in. And Patches wonders why I would prefer to work alone. Ew. So this is what Erwin's apartment looks like. And the culprit of the smell. Grilled codfish with tomatoes. Very old. It's incredible. How can Spotty smell this from the police station? It doesn't make any sense. Sometimes it feels like he's almost making fun of me. And I'm like the only reasonable person around. Or maybe sniffing is an exact science after all. This smell of rotted fish, it's so strong. Spotty's ability to smell things is amazing. That's a lot of cans of tomato sauce. I take it Erwin likes to eat the same meal every day. A real cat of habit. Well, if it's codfish, I guess I can understand. Mostly frozen codfish in here. Some milk, too. And that's all. Erwin's meal plan is Patch's nightmare. <laughs> Spotty's not the killer. You stop it. He's best boy. You lied? In this economy? Disgusting. Nothing else here? Really? Wow. Nothing else here. Doesn't make any sense. Stop! My goodness. What can you smell, Spotty? A strong scent is coming from this apartment. Tomato sauce and codfish. Grilled codfish. I'm standing right next to you and all I get is a musty hallway. Well, you're not a sniffer dog, Waffles. That's why. Just an inspector. 
just an inspector? I studied and worked very hard to get to this position. Same for me. I had to sniff a lot of weird things. One time I had to smell someone's- I don't need to know, Spotty. I promise. I can't believe there's nothing in the apartment. Maybe it could be useful to bring- okay. Okay, so we need to deal with Maka. So, Mocha. So we need to go and get the coffee. The almond croissant is a little harder, but we have the old love letter. Hmm. Maybe it's familiar to another point and click. All right, let's give the letter. I have a love letter for you. Very well written. This is poetry. Hmm, it's interesting. It looks old, maybe from two or three centuries ago. Just imagine, maybe it's from an undersea treasure, a pirate's letter to a lover but never sent. She worked as a barkeep at a bar of ill repute by the seaside, waiting to see her ship on the horizon. She patiently spent years biding her time for him to return, but unfortunately, it never happened. That's... that's so beautiful! Yes. Yes, it is. And that's how I'll sell it. Pardon? Inspector, do you think I'm stupid? You altered a love letter written this week to make it look older. It still smells like coffee. I'm sorry, miss. I thought it would work. Oh, don't worry about it. It will work. I'll sell it with the same story I told you. Someone will buy it, and then I'll make a bunch of money. That is pretty evil. I'm kind of impressed. The ends justify the means, Inspector. And now you can use my coffee machine. Help yourself. Oh, finally. Can I have a cup of coffee now? No. But I thought we had a deal. Well, we did. I said that you can use the coffee machine. Unfortunately, I'm running out of milk and cinnamon. And it won't work without them. Uh, you didn't mention that for our deal on purpose, I assume. Pretty much, yeah. Bring me those ingredients and I'll make you a coffee. Do I have a choice? If you're craving coffee from this machine, not really. I found a piece of cinnamon. Good job, Inspector. Those are tough to find. Yeah, it took some time to locate. Unfortunately, I need all of it. For just one coffee? Oh yes, this machine is so bad. It needs a huge amount of cinnamon for just one coffee. I don't believe you. Do you really need your cinnamon coffee? Yes. Then that's what I thought. Thanks! Anyway, that's one ingredient. You need milk and cinnamon to make a coffee. I'll provide the coffee. I'd hate for you to lose time during your investigation. That's nice of you? What's happening? I'm in a good mood. I'll make money with the fake old letter. I guess that makes sense. And we have milk. I've got the milk you need for the coffee. It's strong, too. She's not Satan. She's just business savvy. Right? <laughs> I said you could use it, but not, but I didn't have anything that you needed. Wait, you wanted you wanted me to to make it? Give me the bottle and I'll pour some into the coffee machine. You won't need all of it for just a coffee. Don't be a miser. I know what I'm doing. And there we go. That's enough. You can have your flask back. How surprising. It's empty. Finally, I can have my cinnamon coffee. So much effort for something I won't drink. Why would you go through all that just for one cup of coffee? For a lady that works with me. Ah, uh, for love. So you are more of an idiot than I thought. You're in love with Mocha, Inspector? I had no idea! It explains the love letter! It came from her! It explains everything! Can you see how good I am at detectivating now? Investigating. Good at investigating. Yes, sorry, investigating. But I found out about you and Mocha. How sweet! I am not 
she isn't. That's fine, Inspector. I won't tell anyone. Oh my god, we are not in love! She actually hates me because... Because of some stuff I did at work. As interesting as it is to hear your love stories, here's your coffee. And have a good day, gentle cats. <laughs> that was a cute interaction. Okay. We have the coffee. Where are we going, Inspector? We need a bakery. Let's go to the police station, though, and drop off this coffee. Waffles, Spotty, how are you guys? We're fine, Peanut, just in the middle of a very big investigation. Yeah, yeah, I know. Fluffy's case. It's very sad to hear about his death. I mean, I didn't know him personally, but the boxes, you guys. The boxes. They are the best things ever. They're just cardboard boxes. How could you? How dare you, Spotty? It's a dog, Peanut. Wouldn't understand. Same as us, not understanding why they love bones. Too true, Waffles. You're a smart cat, you know? I tried. By the way, can you help me with something? A favor. I understand the compliment now. Sure, Peanut, let me hear it. So, Peanut, what can I do for you? Well, I heard the mayor swung by this morning. It's true. I saw him in Patch's offices. I also heard he brought some pastries. Indeed, I managed to snag a croissant for myself. Oh, really? Was it good? No clue. I haven't eaten it yet. Where are your priorities at, Waffles? I can't believe you. But maybe you can give it to me? No way! It's mine! There are plenty of other croissants in Patch's office. Get one yourself. That's the problem. I have to sit here at my desk. This is my duty as a receptionist. I need you to grab one for me. Patches is probably out of the office, so I'm sure the door is locked. Oh, here, take this key. It'll open every door in the station. Except the jail doors, of course. You... have a key that opens every door. Even my office. Uh... yes. Spotty, I don't know about you, but that seems really bad. Oh, yes, Inspector. We should let Patches know. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, this is just a misunderstanding. I'm sure we can find an arrangement. Let's say I keep the key until I don't need it. How does that sound? Oh, good, very good. And you won't tell Patches. Not a word. Cat's honor. Spotty, you won't tell? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I won't tell what? Uh, never mind. And don't forget to bring me a croissant. Will do. Ah, tell me you found a croissant for me. I have one. This one was mine, but I changed my mind. You can have it. Waffles, you're the best. Thanks a lot. I'll eat it on my lunch break. But you could have gone to Patches' office during your break. Yeah, but it's less suspicious if you're in his office instead of me. Sorry. You owe me, Peanut. And like we said, we're keeping the key a little longer. Wow. Broken clock. This clock has always been broken. Stuck on the same time. We could spend hours in this room. Clock won't tick. Always the same. <laughs> ah, so you won't need to animate the hands with thousands of frames. Breaking the fourth wall. Spotty, you can't break the fourth wall. My goodness, in this economy? Oh my. Disgusting. Come on. Oh, never mind. Just something on my mind, Inspector. Everyone thinks these medals commemorate the CPD, CTPD's best and brightest, but if you look closely, they're just made of plastic. It's all fake. Yep. And the portrait? This one's a picture of Danny Clark and Feral, Feral Weapon. Indeed. Maybe everyone else has noticed, but nobody wants to tell Patches. Oh well. Well. Let's go. Oh, wrong direction. Whoopsies. We broke the fourth wall. <laughs> Dude is high as fuck. Be careful, Waffles. The coffee machine is leaking everywhere. So what's going on, Pixel? All the circuits are completely melted. 
It's like someone poured acid on it. Hmm. Very strange. But why are you the one fixing it? Because I'm the IT guy here, Waffles. And that makes you the handyman? Exactly, Waffles. Exactly. Coffee machine doesn't work anymore. Pixel's trying to fix it. Okay, let's go drop off the coffee first. Mocha, you're right. I'm not the best colleague. You deserve to be surrounded by nice, polite, and organized police cats and police dogs. You're a true asset, and everyone should be grateful for having you around. Mm. You can do better than that, Waffles. Compliments aren't enough? No. For starters, bring me a decent breakfast. Cinnamon coffee and an almond croissant, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Shell. So annoying. I don't understand what's going on with internet lately for, like, everybody. Maybe then I'll see if I can help. All right, we have a cinnamon coffee. I have a cup of coffee. Would you like some? This one looks tasty. Does it have cinnamon in it? Oh, yes. Very tedious to track down. Yeah, if you say so. Let me try it. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too bad? Yeah, that's good enough. Thank you, Waffles. And thanks, but I want the entire breakfast. You're a tough negotiator, Mocha. All right, let's go to Patch's office and steal a croissant. Inspector, I'm always wondering. Inspector Nato. His office is on this floor, but I don't think I've ever seen him. It's a joke, Spotty. A terrible one. I know, but a joke, nonetheless. What do you mean? Inspector Nato doesn't exist. The office has been empty since... Inspector? Oh, flashback. <gasps> A tragic backstory. Oh, waffles. Inspector? You were pretty quiet for a while. Sorry, I was thinking about an old friend. This place reminds me a lot of him. No problem. I understand. We're all riddled with good and bad memories, Inspector. We are using the key. As I inspected, expected, Patches took almost all of the croissants, but there's one left. I'm taking it. Sorry, Patches. Hope you stashed away from some extras for yourself. I'm not gonna look at Patches files. Looking into my boss's personal folder is not the smartest thing to do. Coupon! It's a coupon that could be used in the Maple Market. I won't steal it from Patches, except if... Oh yeah, it expires tomorrow. Patches probably forgot about it. Let's take it. And if it's food related, I'll bring it back to Patches. Wow! Chance, meatballs. I already got all the bad cat's faces in my office. Wow. Alright. We have a croissant. Da, 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 What? Really? Really? Where's the almond croissant? We only have a regular croissant. I think we're gonna have to find almonds. Yes, coupon, I know, but I don't have a grocery store to go and use it. She said to find a bakery, but I don't have a bakery. That's the problem. I have the antique shop, hot dogs, luxurious bones. Maybe Frank knows? Okay, Frank can't help. Who can find a bakery for me? How are we going to get back to normal? Hmm. Um. 
Maybe we can wave keys in front of him? All right, Mom. Come on, Mom. Hello? Hey, Mom. It's me. My little waffles. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm fine, Mom. I just wanted to ask you about something. Oh, did you hear that your uncle got a new car? It wasn't that expensive, you know. Maybe you could get one, too. Mom, please. Your car is older than you, dear. Can you help me on my case? Of course, sweetie. I don't know how to make an almond croissant for Mocha. An almond croissant? Is that a real thing? I don't know, Mom. Maybe this is too obvious, but maybe combining almonds and a croissant might work? Patches loves croissants so much. If he's not around, maybe find a way to peek into his office? And dear, if you need almonds, you're always welcome to stop by and grab some from my kitchen. You're probably the only cat in town without almonds in your kitchen. Thanks, Mom. Always, dear. Okay. Should we go to Irwin's kitchen and see if Irwin has some there? Let's check out Irwin's kitchen. Let's see if, let's see if he's got almonds in there. Maybe it could be useful to bring Spotty into the apartment. Okay, yeah, I know, I'm working on it. Almonds! A bowl full of almonds. Almonds are delightful. Just gonna have a couple. Uh, okay, a few more for later. Okay, okay, that's enough. Okay, there we go. I have almonds. I have a croissant. And voila! An almond croissant. How simple was that? I hope Bunker thinks it's good enough. Back to the police station! Back to the police station. Let's go give Monka the almond croissant, get our warrant, and then go back to the apartment. Here's a croissant with almonds. Oh, where did you find it? It's delicious. Uh, from a street vendor. I don't remember where exactly. Let me know if you remember, okay? I'd love to get more of them myself. Of course, Mocha. Oh, my breakfast. I didn't expect you to do it, Waffles. Thank you. You must be really desperate to get this warrant. Surprised you didn't enter without it, since that's what you do all the time. Oh, I already did. It's Spotty who won't go in without the warrant, and I need him to sniff the place. You're hopeless, Waffles. I know, Mocha. First, here's your warrant. Second, some advice. Try to be like Spotty sometimes. He's the nicest police dog to work with. Waffles? What do you need this time? I need your help, Mocha. Again? This day is full of surprises. Da, da, da. I don't think there's anything I need to ask her right now. We probably have to go to the apartment. Here's your damn croissant. Now give me a legal document. Cheese and crackers. Come on. Back to Irwin's. So we probably have to go here, find something to give us probable cause to give to Mocha to get the other warrant to go into the woman's house. Millie's house. Now that I have a warrant to get into Irwin's apartment, would you do me the pleasure of coming with? Oh, sure, Inspector. Now that everything is 100% legal, I'm happy to join. This is the first time in a long time I've done something completely by the book. Let's go. This is the rotten codfish I've been smelling! Yes. I think I deserve the hot dog you promised me before. Spotty, I don't think it's the best time for- Well, wait! I'm smelling something else. 
so spotty. What's the other smell you're picking up? Oh, yeah, there's some... I can't believe it! There's catnip here, and it's completely illegal here in Cat Town! Yeah, I've heard about that. Do you think it's in this apartment? You can't smell it? It's just behind you, hidden somewhere on the wall. I certainly don't smell catnip. I think you just call things out and they magically appear. I've got a master's degree from the Dog City University College of Sniffing with a specialization in cat drugs like catnip. I've trained for this exact moment. Uh, uh, of course you are, Spotty. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> Not the catnip! Oh no! Matilda would be in jail. She loves cat though. This wall seems to be hollow inside. Let's see. <gasps> wow! I can't believe it. You were right, Spotty. There was some catnip in in here. I told you. I never lie. I'm impressed, Spotty. You're the first one to make me believe in sniffing. And where's my reward? Reward? Yep. Every time I found some catnip at university, I got a treat. Maybe a tummy rub? Spotty. I am never going to rub your tummy, ever. You always say how you like to stay professional at work. A tummy rub never hurt anyone, Inspector. No, 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 no. Okay then, candy would be fine then. Bye, Shell, have a great night. Oh Jesus, I've been streaming past eight, oops. I don't have any candy. I'm sorry, I'm not Patches. No candy, no tummy rub, I feel betrayed. Get used to it, Spotty. Erwin owns some catnip, but that's not why we're here. Shouldn't we report it, Inspector? I don't know. It could be better to use against him if we have to interrogate him at some point. You know, better than me. Erwin doesn't even look like he's addicted to the nip. He burnt his grilled cod and left it here. But usually nip users don't let any food go to waste. He also hid some money. And again, another grocery list. Like in Fluffy's house. But why hide a grocery list? Both of them. Nothing is making sense here. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe they're making a secret recipe like Frank with his hot dogs. That's... No, a, a good thought, Spotty, but they are not cooks. I just need to compare the two lists with a closer eye. I've got two grocery lists hidden away at two separate places of interest. It's very suspicious. I'm gonna compare them. Well, they're identical! They both contain the exact same products in the exact same quantity. Oh, the list I found at Irwin's place has an address scribbled on it. And a date! Maple Market in the Sopaw neighborhood. And the date is today! Do you think we should head there, Inspector? Oh, definitely. We need to understand why they both needed to go to this particular Maple Market with this exact grocery list. This market is located across town from the residences. They both could have found a closer market. To me, or does that not make any sense? No, you're right. And that's what we are going to investigate. Do you need me to sniff out a path there? No, Spotty. Fortunately, this time I know the way. Let's go. Oh, we're going for a ride. It's so much fun. Spotty, I'd love to have your enthusiasm sometimes. My life would be so much easier. <laughs> Let's go. He's better educated than... I think Spotty is better educated than all of us at this point. Here it is, Maple Market. Hmm, how odd. There's no queue at the entrance. Well, good for us. Why would there be a line at the entrance of a supermarket, Inspector? That's how it works. Only one person inside at a time. You tell the cashier what you want, they pick it up, and you're good to go. That's a weird way to do it. It helps prevent fights between cats and dogs. Wait, how do you not know how supermarkets work, Spotty? How do you eat? I like hot dogs. I got a lot of carry out hot dogs. Sometimes I also eat steaks. I really like steaks. Lots of places near my home where you can eat. How do you manage to stay so thin with a diet of hot dogs and steaks? I run a lot. I don't run with steaks anymore though, too dangerous. One time I got stuck for hours trying to enter a doorway. That's... I... Never mind, Spotty. Let's head inside. Of course, Inspector. 
<laughs> oh, Spotty. The green light means that the next in line is free to go. Needless to say, it's going to be me. A maple market. They popped up all over the cities these past few years. And now almost everybody uses them for picking up groceries. I guess Maple did a good job cornering the market. And now he's rolling his success into a political campaign for mayor. Guess he's always looking for more power and more influence. We're not at a crime scene anymore. I don't need to check inside every trash bin in the city. So I won't look into it. I won't. Okay, a quick peek. Oh, nothing. Completely empty. What a disappointment. This game is COVID times. I know Patches likes to call me an alley cat, but I'm just curious is all. Very different things. Spotty, you know the rule now. One person only inside the maple market. That's a stupid rule. I don't want to go in anyway. Well, perfect. Wait for me at the street lamp right there. Sure. Stay still. I won't be long. I won't move, Inspector. Good. Be back soon. <laughs> Hello, sir. My name is George. How can I help you today? We have a buy two, get one free deal on pineapples today. Don't miss out on these incredible deals. Thanks, but I'm not here for pineapples. Welcome back to Maple Market. How can I help you? I'd like one salmon, five mouse tails, duck grease, one chub mackerel, and three lobster tails. That's a very particular order, sir. I know, right? Are you sure you want these products? Yes, and in this exact quantity. We are the lions! We are the lions! Oh, uh, right. We are the lions! You can go, brother. The assembly will start soon. Are we in a cult? Of course, that's why I'm here. I can't wait to see the other... Lions. We're in a cult. We joined- we just joined a cult. We didn't mean to. We just wanted to pick up groceries. And now we joined a cult by accident. I didn't mean for us to join a cult, but now we're in a cult. Woo! Excuse me! Okay. Hold on. Before it starts. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm so confused. Who there's these lions? How are Erwin and Fluffy involved? I noticed the cashier's acting strange when he started talking about the lions. That's pretty weird. Let's find out more about these lions and why they're meeting up. This case is taking an unexpected turn of events. And with that, we will continue this another time. And with that, We will continue this another time.